So the Detroit Tigers are probably one of the worst teams in history this year. I'm talking, it was, it was bad. I mean, you got a couple of players to look forward to in the future that look like they're going to be pretty promising. You got Casey Mize, maybe Riley Green. There's a couple other names as well, but for the next two, three years, I think it's going to be pretty rough for the Detroit Tigers. And I think it's time to do an offseason rebuild with them. If you missed the last one, it's in the top right hand corner. We did the Padres offseason rebuild. If you want to see more of these, make sure you hit the like button down below. And in the comment section, let me know which team you would like to see next. Other than that, guys, let's get into it. Let's start these offseason rebuilds. Alrighty, so heading into the offseason, let's take a look at this roster because this is where we're going to try to figure out who we want to keep, who we want to get rid of, and things like that. Victor Alcantara has actually gone up a little bit. He looks promising. We can maybe get him involved, maybe use him as a long reliever or something like that. But we got Matthew Boyd, Michael Fulmer, Spencer Turnbull, Daniel Norris, Casey Mize is definitely a player I want to get involved. Not too sure how we're going to find a way to do it. And I really don't like that the CPU brought him up. I don't think he should have been brought up this year. But... You guys can see the bullpen here. Definitely need some work there. Closing pitchers. Joe Jimenez, I see him more as a setup guy or maybe a middle reliever, not necessarily a closer. We have three catchers in the major leagues. There's no reason for that. I just feel like we can probably rock with maybe Jake Rogers and Grayson Grenier instead of John Hicks. First base, Miguel Cabrera is fine. We'll keep him for at least a couple seasons. Ronnie Rodriguez is actually developing quite well. I'm kind of interested to see how he does. Dewell Lugo and Jamer Condelario, they could fight it out at third, even though both of them didn't really hit the ball too well. Short stops, Jody Mercer is not the solution. And then Nico Goodrum is more of a second baseman, maybe even a third baseman. So we'll have to wait and see how he develops in the team. Left field, Kristen Stewart, definitely a DH, even though he didn't hit the ball too well this season. Victor Reyes in center. Not really too excited about. We may have to find a new one. Parker Meadows could potentially feature if he develops pretty quickly. And then in right field, no one really too exciting. Riley Green is a potential option, but we'll have to wait and see how he develops. For the most part, it's looking like we really just need to overhaul this entire team. M Miguel Cabrera was like the only, the only batter that did anything this year. Only one other player hit above 250. Two players hit above 250 that actually like started... Oh man, um, pitching wise, I mean, it doesn't look terrible. It actually looks pretty bad. Um, we're definitely gonna have to figure out pitching as well. There's a lot to change with this team. Let's get into the off season. Let's see how this works out. I really wanna focus on potential free agent signings. So let's take a look and see what we can do here. So free agents, these are the guys that I'm gonna be targeting. I'm thinking Mad Bum, if we can get him for a similar contract like he's being offered like that. Um, maybe even someone like Martin Perez, who could slowly develop a little bit better, but I've never really seen him do well. So I'm going to be targeting Mad Bum. We're going to go four years. He got 54, so I'm going to bring it down a little bit. We'll go 60 with a player option. See if that gets us in the mix. It does a little bit. Relief pitchers. We're going to go 657. I don't think we can afford that, unfortunately. How'd Pedro Strope do? Pretty well. Let's see if we can get him a two-year deal where he is the closer. And we'll bump this down a little bit. Gets a second. Hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll see what we can do there. Catcher, I'm not too, like, set on trying to get a new one. Second base, I think we're good. We have plenty of options at second. Third base, I'm going to hold off on as well. Shortstop is an area I definitely want to improve on. And Didi Gregorius might be that guy. For, like, maybe a season or two. Let's do a one-year deal to start with, and then he doesn't want the club option. We'll, we'll, we'll throw that out there. See if he likes that, and see if he stays around. Marcelo Zuna. Let's do it. Let's do it. I think Marcelo Zuna is a good one. Let's do a three-year deal. We'll give him the player option. And I have a feeling by that third year we're gonna be good, anyways. So, and then let's bump this down a little bit. So those are my those are my free agent targets. Let's see if we get them. So I was looking to get rid of Jordan Zimmerman to open up some salary cap space. And I was trying to find, you know, just a trade, see what teams had some sa some cap space to work with. And I was looking at the Rangers and look what the Rangers offered an A potential 74 overall left fielder. So I'm assuming it's someone who just got drafted, which is a horrible issue that MLB The Show has. So I went to go look at his stats. Melvin Keisler, Keisler and he actually looks pretty good. Uh, switch hitter can play all across the outfield his his fielding stats are pretty bad but um 
I also looked at that. Another offer that we got was from the Cubs, and they offered a first baseman, Will Mullen. So first base, we have Miguel Cabrera. I'm not too sure if I want to trade for a first baseman just yet, but an 18-year-old with some really good hitting stats. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go to that Rangers pick. Because I think are the Rangers trade because I think that's just a, a too good of an offer to pass up. They also threw in a couple other players, which I'm not really too interested in. If I can unload this salary right away, I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, I think the other players they offered were they're pretty low in value, anyways. Maybe I can get someone that was actually decent. Um, you know what? Let's just leave it. Let's just not get too greedy. They offered us too good of a trade to begin with. Let's just go Zimmerman for Melvin right off the bat. Alrighty, so we're actually into the first season of this rebuild. So let's take a look at what we've added. Free agency didn't go as planned, but let's take a look. So I targeted like Marcelo Zuna and a couple other players. Wasn't able to get a Marcelo Zuna. He went for too much. We tried Pedro Strope. Didn't want to come and join us either. So what we decided is we got Madison Bumgarner. That was kind of the big splash in free agency. He's going to hopefully be that ace. We picked up Tyler Austin for a season, maybe as a DH uh, platoon bat maybe even you know the takeover for miggy if he starts to fall off and then nick kingham as a reliever and we actually did get will smith um the first offer didn't get us in that number one spot and i know i say we didn't get him but i decided to re-up our deal and this is what we got instead so pedro strope told us no will smith said yes when we look at the rest of the players that we got we got a lot of like b potential players for like nothing um none of these guys but like there's a couple pitchers that snuck through kyle hubbard b potential philip uchita b potential edmund banks b potential i'll take those any day those are good trade pieces for the future so when we look at the team not much has changed we did bring in dd gregorius on a two-year deal i think he's got a player option but um for the most part it doesn't look terrible does it look much better than last year definitely not we move nico goodrum to second base and there's definitely some some holes that I want to fix. Melvin Keisler is definitely going to be our left fielder next season. 100%, no doubt about it. If not next season, it'll be the year after because I really want to get him involved. He looks really good. Um, but we definitely need to improve the team somewhere. Just not too sure where. Probably center field and right field is my big concern. When we look at the starting rotation, I like it. I think it actually looks really good. I think we've actually got a good core right here. We've got Casey Mai is gonna, he's gonna develop a little bit in the farm system. I think he needs a, a little bit more time. Maybe even Franklin Perez uh, features in this. And then the bullpen is definitely an area I want to improve in as well. So for right now, I think Jimenez and Smith are really good. I'm gonna see how this plays out. And then we'll definitely make some, some changes come our like second season of the rebuild i want to see how this does and then we can definitely figure out who we want to keep and who we want to get rid of all right so this season it wasn't a playoff team and i knew it wasn't but we've definitely improved and i think we're just a couple moves away from becoming that playoff team so you look at it 77 to 85 that's decent i have a feeling we were probably like third okay we were fourth in division by two games which not bad not bad at all i kind of like that 10 games out in the wild card I'm in the 27th ranked team. Bum Garner though, and Michael Fulmer. I like that. I like seeing that quite a bit. So let's take a look at the team. Nico Goodrum was kind of like a, a platoon player, but he got involved a lot. 270. Uh, Sergio Alcantara, why did he get... Okay, so he was on the bench the whole time? That's right. That's right. That's right. Grayson Grinder didn't play that much, but okay. And Jammer Candelario is probably a player I'm going to look to trade. He's just not someone I see long-term with the team. So Duel Lugo, 240, a little bit better than last year in terms of average and stuff, but definitely feel like we can find a new third baseman. Didi Gregorius, 240, 20 home runs, 72 RBIs, 32 doubles though. We'll see, we'll see. Miggy is dropping off quickly. I think we're going to have to find a way to get rid of him. Kristen Stewart went up to an 80. It's just he's not hitting the ball well which is a problem. Tyler Austin, 181, fantastic. So it's looking like these additions that we're making really aren't helping us. And to be honest, the team as a whole is just not hitting the ball at all. And I think that's the big issue. We're just not hitting the ball. Ronnie Rodriguez though, he might be that second base solution that we have. I wanna see how Melvin Kaiser Kiesler's up to. He's, that fielding is just so bad. Maybe a second base option. He might be our second base option. 
maybe move Ronnie Rodriguez to third. That might be a that might be a that might be a solution right there. That might be something that we need to look into because that that fielding is terrible. Let's take a look at our pitching because I have a feeling this is our best part of the team. Um, Fulmer, Turnbull struggled a bit. Boyd did quite well, and even Victor Alcantara did pretty solid. Um, Kingham, okay, I like to see that. Jimenez struggled a bit. Coleman struggled a bit. Stump did well. Jose Fernandez did pretty solid. Jimenez struggled. And Will Smith was good. Two players that I wanted to keep my eye on. Casey Mize, up to a 74. He pitched eight games this year. Maybe we get him involved. Franklin Perez, not yet. Maybe Casey Mize need one more season. I think he might need one more year. But the, you know what? I like the pitching. The bullpen could use a little work. Our lineup 100% needs work. But we're getting there. We're getting there. We missed out on the postseason by 10 games. It's not terrible. Who are we going to target here? I feel like pitching, we're good. We don't need to invest money anywhere else. Bullpen, we do need to. And I feel like Deekman's not the option there. Maybe like, maybe Blake Trinan for a setup guy. Struggled a bit, but I have a feeling if we get him as our setup guy, he'll be good. Um, and then catchers, no. First baseman, not yet. Maybe Jonathan VR. Maybe Jonathan VR. Maybe Jake Lamb. He did pretty well. That's a possibility. Um. Ooh. We do. We we just need we need help <laughs> scoring runs. That's what we need. Help scoring runs. Center field. Victor Reyes sucks. Jackie Bradley Jr. Probably not much better. I'm gonna go in for Jack Peterson. I think that's a good pickup. Four year deal. Boom. Give him a player option. I think that's a good one there. And then shortstop, I said no. Third base, Jake Lamb shouldn't want too much. He doesn't really want to join us. That's the problem. Three years, nine mil though. I don't think that's a terrible offer. And then what does VR want? Kind of a similar thing, but let's do this and give him, let's go three with the player option and see if we can do that. Those are going to be our targets for now. And then I'm going to do one reliever. Man, do I want to go for someone big? Or do I want to hold out and see if we can trade? And I think we can trade and get some players. So I was looking for a way to get rid of Miguel Cabrera. And I knew the only way I was going to find anybody worth trading for was if I packaged one of our prospects into it. And that's going to be Franklin Perez. He actually looks like he's going to be a really good pitcher. It's just he's going to be competing for with Casey Mize. And Casey Mize, I think it's just a little bit above him in terms of overall and like MLB readiness. I think he looks really good. I think he's going to be really good in his seven games, 13 innings pitched. He's pitched really well, but we also have Matt Manning, who is a potential player we could trade, but we're getting Jose Ramirez and it fills that like third base that I was looking for. All right. So we're starting off the season with a trade at Dwell Lugo, Tyler Austin and Travis Demerit for Diego Castillo, which I was like, whoa, we're getting in Diego Castillo. We're also getting Nick Anderson and then Nate Lau. No, Nate Lowe. That's low. And I don't know why this trade works, but um, it does. So we're going to do it. So let's take a look at how free agency went, especially after that trade. I feel like we've made some good acquisitions. Obviously the trade we just made with Tampa Bay, we brought in Addison Reed. We'll see how he does for a year. He didn't do too bad with Minnesota last year. So we'll see how that goes. Obviously the trade of Jose Ramirez is a big addition. Jake Lamb moved from third to first since we got rid of Miguel Cabrera. Jonathan Villar is gonna be our second baseman. And I've been kind of thinking we have a little bit of a surplus at second base now. So you're gonna see what we did. Jack Peterson's gonna take over left, which means Kristen Stewart's gonna be our DH. Um, Grayson Grenier is back. I don't know why we didn't have him signed in the first place. And then we signed this guy in free agency, a 70 overall B potential starting pitcher, basically taking over for Franklin Perez since we traded him. So looking at the lineup now, you guys can kind of see what we're uh what we're rocking with it's uh it's an interesting team so we got jack peterson and right christian stewart's gonna play left from time to time vr is gonna be swapping it out with nico goodrum from time to time and then we moved ronnie rodriguez to center field i know he fits a second baseman mold better but he was one of the better fielding players we had and he's actually been performing pretty well so let's move him to center field and it said he could play there so let's give him a shot there next up we got didi gregorius we got vr lamb peterson jose ramirez i feel like the team's definitely a lot stronger we've obviously moved some players around but i think we're in a good spot another player that we've moved is melvin keesler 
I felt like with that fielding, he just can't play the outfield. Let's move him to second base, and we should possibly see him next year. I think he's going to be a player we look out for. Frank Schwindel could potentially be featured next season as a backup first baseman, just in case Jake Lamb doesn't pan out. We got Riley Green, who's grown fast, and we still have uh, Heimer Candelario, Jamer Candelario, but we'll see how that goes. Our bullpen's looking a for the, the minors is looking a little full, but Casey Mize is probably coming up next year and he's gonna be fighting it out with Victor Alcantara, but the starting rotation is the same. Addison Reed is brought in like I've mentioned, and then Nick Anderson, Castillo from the Rays, and I think the team's a lot stronger. Let's take a look and see where we're at standings wise. 22nd, we were 27th last year, so we're still improving, but I definitely think we could maybe squeak into the wild card. I think we could. This seems not terrible. All right, I said maybe we were a postseason team, and I, I mean, we actually made the postseason. 90 and 72, we're the wild card team. I have a feeling it was actually really close. We had a rough September, but let's take a look. Five games we missed out, and then the wild card we held the top spot. We're ranked 20th, so we're we're not doing terrible. League leaders Jonathan VR had the most stolen bases and most innings pitched for Bum Garner. So let's take a look at the lineup first. So, ooh, Melvin got called up. Who got sent down? Who got sent down? Him. Interesting. Don't know why, but okay. Candelario only had three at-bats. Grayson Graner and then Victor Reyes. Let's take a look at the rest of the team. Nico Goodrum actually had a good year. Jose Ramirez did not. Okay, 25 home runs. I like that. 31 doubles. It looks like he might need to be a player. We can incorporate a little bit more. Jose Ramirez struggled a bit. Still put up decent runs like RBIs, home runs, doubles were a little low, but uh, maybe we need to move him down a little bit in the lineup. Jack Peterson might need to be our cleanup hitter. Almost 300, 36 home runs, 107 RBIs, 32 doubles. I think he may need to be a player that we keep, don't let go. Jake Lamb didn't do terrible either. 30 home runs, 102 RBIs, 32 doubles. It looks like we got a good 3-4 spot right here. Jonathan VR actually did really well. I wasn't expecting this. 47 doubles, 48 stolen bases, 283 average, I wasn't expecting that from him, but I like it. Didi Gregorius had a pretty similar year to last year, a little bit better run production, but this is the year I want to spend big on a shortstop. Kristen Stewart had a down year, had a down year. So maybe maybe we trade him for maybe move Jack to left, and then we just get like a, a proper right fielder because Kristen Stewart's just not the answer. Ronnie Rodriguez. Pretty, pretty similar stuff. I think we're okay with him at center for now. And then Jake, Rad Jake Rogers had a pretty good year. So for the most part, pretty happy with the way the team's looking. Um, we have Nate Lowe here who could get called up. How's Frank Schwindel doing? 74. Okay. We got Riley Green who could possibly get called up. We have a couple players down there who could make the bigs in a, in a bit. So we got Bumgarner who pitched amazing again. Good to see that. Michael Fulmer did well. Turnbull did well. Boyd didn't, and I'm, he becomes a free agent this year, might just let him go. Victor, yeah, because Victor Alcantara is doing well. We got Casey Mize, Bo Burrows. We have some players who could get called up. Jose Fernandez, pretty good in this long relief role in his two innings pitch. So who got sent? Someone got sent down. Kingham. Why is the CPU doing this? Why is the CPU moving things around a lot? Addison Reed got sent down too, and he wasn't doing too bad. Interesting. Eduardo Jimenez got called up. I don't... Why is the CPU doing this? Um, Joe Jimenez struggled. Nick Anderson did well. Stumpf did well. Castillo did well. And then Will Smith did well. So I got to fix this lineup. All righty. So Athletics, they got Mookie Betts. Okay. Um, and Zunino. Team looks the same. Mookie Betts goes deep, of course. All right, we get on. Can we steal second? We do. Man is scoring position. We bring him in. Jose Ramirez. Perfect. Two run score and a two run. Oh, Mad Bomb, you're falling apart on me, man. Why? That's not good. Not good at all. All right, Jose Ramirez got a double. Jack Peterson gets us back into the game. Then Jake Lamb back to back. We're down by one. That's what I like to see. Um, can we get that run back, though? That was Mad Bomb's last inning for sure. We're going to take him out. We're going to go. Let's go, Nick Anderson. Perfect. Ronnie Rodriguez, can you get on? No. Stewart. Doubles. Perfect. Rogers brings him in. Tie ball game. That's what I'm talking about. Bring in the run. Come on. 
Bases loaded for Peterson. Grounds out, unfortunately. And then Matt Olson goes deep. Oh man. Okay. Eighth inning. We can we can come back. We can come back. There's the double. And the walk. Jake Rogers. Can you do it? Bases loaded for VR. One run scores. DD. Okay. Alright, let's go to the bullpen again. Let's go. Castillo. Perfect. Comes down to this. We're down one. Jose Ramirez doubles. That's a good start. Jack Peterson. No. Lamb. No. Goodrum. No, man. Unfortunate. That was a good game, though. We had 12 hits. The offense did well. Pitching was a little suspect at times, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy with what the team did this year. We're not a really highly ranked team. Let's just keep going into this offseason. Cubs defeat the Yankees. So Dini Gregorius and Addison Reed were our negotiations. Don't want them because in free agency, there's a lot of shortstops available and I want to pick up one of them because we need one. Francisco Lindor, definitely a good option. Trevor Story, another really good option. Javi Baez, another good option. Even Corey Seager is a good option. We have a lot of good options here. Corey Seager looks like the least attractive of the option. I might go Lindor here. You know what? I don't think I've ever gotten Trevor Story. So let's... Let's get Trevor Story in here. Let's make him that big offer. And then left field, I felt like we were fine. Right field was an area that I did want to improve on. Um, and let's see, could we get, how's Gregory Polanco? Really good. Holy cow. We can go Conforto. We already had Soler and Conforto. I think, can we afford them? We should be able to. Ooh, this is going to be a good one. Oh boy, there's some good options. But yeah, I think the the right field and shortstop in our lineup. If we can fill that spot, I think we're set. In the offseason, first trade we're gonna make is Jimer Candelario for John Brebia. Want to strengthen this bullpen. Next trade we're doing is from Reyes Maranta of the Giants for Kristen Stewart and Nick Kingham. I think that's the trades for the offseason. All right, if we don't win the division with this team that we've assembled, I'm gonna be shocked. Let's take a look at the off-season moves we made. So, free agency, Trevor Story I did mention. I did say I wanted to find a right fielder. Jorge Soler was there, we've already gotten him. Michael Conforto, it's kind of a common name, but Gregory Polanco looks really good. Let's give him a try. He's always done bad for me in previous rebuilds, so why not give him a shot here? We traded for Brebia, we traded for Maranta, and that was really about it for free agency. And we're still within budget, just barely. When we take a look at our pitching rotation, it looks strong. Fulmer, Bumgarner, Turnbull, Alcantara has been a little bit of a surprise for me. He's actually been decent. And then we got Casey Mize finally getting that full season in for the debut. Bo Burrows is going to be our long reliever. We'll see how it goes. I'm not too sold on him, but look at this bullpen. It's stacked. It's almost too stacked. Um, maybe could trade maybe like Nick Anderson um, for a, a long reliever, but I'm going to, I'm going to go with it. When we take a look at our lineup, it's going to be a, a mix of Kai, Kiesler, we got VR, we got a lot of second baseman combos kind of filling in and out, but this is kind of the starting lineup for the most part. It looks really good. I'm really excited about it, and uh, we're, we're going to see how it goes. Kiesler's stats versus righties are really scary. Got good vision already. We got Polanco, Story, Peterson, Lamb, Ramirez, VR. I mean, this team is looking stacked. I'm really excited to see how it plays out. Let's see how the final season goes. Oh, no, let's take a look at where we are standings wise. We're fifth after those moves. Defense is pretty bad, but everything else is uh, speed is fifth, contact is sixth, power is second, and then pitching is fifth. I'm excited. All right, so I said we were ranked pretty high and it, it shows with this record. 108 wins with 54 losses. This team is nuts. We're taking on the winner of the wild card, which means we're going to lose, though. So league leaders wise, Trevor Story hit the most home runs, crazy glitch in franchise. And then Michael Fulmer and Will Smith look like they pitched pretty well. Take a look at awards because we have some rookie of the year. OK, and Will Smith solid. So standings, we won the division by 19 games and we had the best record in baseball, all of baseball. And I'm actually interested to see where we ranked fourth overall in the MLB. We'll take a look at awards for the last couple of years. George Springer, JD Martinez, and Chris Davis were MVPs for the last three years. Lindor, Bellinger, and Pete Alonso were MVPs for the National League. Cy Young went to Cole, DeGrom, and Marquez. Severino's won the last three, which is crazy to think about. Okay. Um, 
I'm surprised Trevor's story didn't win it this year. We'll take a look. 344 RBI or 44 home runs, 123 RBIs. So let's go take a look at how things went for the team. Michael Fulmer was a 93, had himself another really good year, been very consistent for us the last three. Madison Bumgarner, again, very consistent. I like to see that. Spencer Turnbull had a decent year, um, been pretty, pretty good the last couple seasons for us. Alcantara is low key kind of a glitch he's been really good for us um like a four or five starter gotta love it casey mize first first full season i'll take that as a five starter Bo burrows did okay wasn't expecting much for him anyways so he did is about what i expected jimenez did well brevia did very well nick anderson struggled a bit stump is kind of a glitch as well he's been really good for us and i wasn't expecting that reyes maranta did pretty well um diego castillo was lights out and Will Smith was as well. Only three blown saves, and he had 51 saves. So let's take a look at our lineup, see how things went. Nico Goodrum struggled a little bit, but that's limited appearances, and I'm assuming his morale's pretty down, yeah. Um, Nate Lowe, meh, you know? And then Grayson Granner did okay. So rookie of the season, Melvin had What, Melvin? 40 home runs. 84 RBIs, 38 doubles, 26 stolen bases, a 290 average. Who is this guy? He's unreal. Gregory Polanco did well as well. 299 with 27 home runs and 80 RBIs in the two spot. I'll take that for sure. Trevor Story had 50 home runs, 115 RBIs, a 272 average, 41 doubles. I'm cool with that. That's ha I'm pretty happy with that. Jack Peterson. Again, very solid. Jake Lamb, again, very solid. We got Jose Ramirez, bounce back here with 30 home runs, 101 RBIs. I can see why we're pretty high in power. We're putting up crazy good numbers. Our lowest so far is 27. 27 for VR as well. And then Rodriguez had 15. And then 20 for our catcher. I can see why we have a lot of power. We're putting up home runs like it's our job. We have Riley Green who could step up next season, maybe play like center field for us. Oh man, this team's stacked for the future. And when you look at the contracts, I mean, most players are locked up. Michael Fulmer definitely would have to pay. Jose Ramirez could be a player you look to move, definitely. Um, but you have that, um, you have VR, and, or you could move VR, pay Ramirez, and then keep Melvin there. This dude looks like a beast. Holy cow. Let's hop into this postseason, see how things go. We're taking on the Rays. Game one, we lose. And the second, it all comes down to this. I told you guys, if we play the wild card winner, we're getting knocked out. Let's hop into this game. Alrighty, turn bull. We're going we're gonna to leave our lineup the way it is. I'm surprised we're not putting up crazy good runs um, with the way our offense was throughout the year. But it seems like that's how it happens in the postseason. Always one thing falls apart for us, the bullpen or the hitting. And we're down one nothing. Can we come back? That's that's a good question. <laughs> um, man, we've only had, okay, we've had two hits. I was gonna say we've only had one hit. Ooh, this is good. There's one run. One run scored, one got thrown out. But I'll take that. Two runs were up in the game. What's gonna happen here though? That's the big question. Error and a two-run bomb from Jonathan VR. Gotta love it. All right, Turnbull, can you give me one more? No, you cannot. You are done. Um, let's go to Jimenez. Let's go to a lefty and Stumpf. They've got quite a few lefties coming up. Really? So we're down one. We kind of fell apart there, but that's okay. We can come back. I believe in the team. Double play, not what I want to see. <laughs> I didn't even see they had Glaber Torres on the team. That's nutty. We're falling apart here. Solo shot, lefty, lefty. Oh, man. Uh, let's go Reyes Maranta. And then this is the eighth. So let's go Will Smith because they got lefties coming up like crazy. And they got their closer in Alvarado in. One out. Two outs. Uh, man, that sucks. I mean, so that's the season. And I, I think, yeah, I left Turnbull in a little bit too long. You know, bullpen was a little shaky, but let's take a look because our offense, five runs, okay, that's not bad. So it looks like Michael Fulmer got torn apart and then 12 runs allowed. So our pitching really let us down um, in 
the postseason. That's what really let us down was our pitching because we put up decent amount of runs, just the pitching really let us down. So again, guys, I really liked this team we put together. I mean, it is scary good. You guys can not see the ratings, but look at that team. Most players are locked up for the future. You could definitely open up some space trading Jonathan VR, trade him. There's 9 million you can save. You could probably find another way to get other players involved but this team is stacked for the future that melvin kiesler guy looks like an absolute beast and i really enjoyed taking this tigers team from worst to first in the division and it is crazy good so again guys if you want to see some more rebuilds hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and i'll catch you all in the next video peace